why there are no great white sharks in aquariums. Do you ever wonder why there are no great white sharks in aquariums? These massive predators are some of the most iconic creatures in the ocean, and they would be a huge draw for visitors. So why aren't they kept in captivity? Well, today we're going to answer that question and talk about the reasons why great white sharks are not kept in aquariums. So, if you're curious about great white sharks, stick around for this video. Let's begin with a quick history lesson about the great white shark. History As one of the largest predatory sharks and apex predators in the ocean, the great white shark commands respect from each and every other aquatic mammal or fish in the water. Found in a variety of oceanic habitats around the world, great white sharks prefer temperate and cool waters including coastal areas and continental shelves. They can be spotted in regions such as the coasts of California, South Africa, Australia, and the Mediterranean Sea. What's interesting is that these sharks are known for their migratory patterns, often covering vast distances in search of prey and suitable environments. In terms of size, the great white shark is no joke. Adult individuals can reach lengths of up to 20 feet 6 meters, or more, and can weigh between 2,000 to 5,000 pounds (900 to 2,300 kilograms). Their streamlined bodies are designed for efficient and swift movement through the water, allowing them to traverse vast distances in pursuit of prey. So, with all of that out of the way, what is the explanation as to why we don't see these sharks more often in aquariums? We believe there are four reasons why. But before we get into that, let's discuss what an aquarium even is, and what types of sharks are actually found in aquariums. Aquariums and Sharks An aquarium is a controlled environment designed to house and display aquatic organisms, providing visitors with the opportunity to observe various marine life up close. Aquariums come in different sizes, ranging from small home setups to large public facilities. They serve educational, conservation, and entertainment purposes, allowing people to learn about marine ecosystems and the creatures that inhabit them. And in terms of the types of sharks typically found in aquariums, while great white sharks are rarely kept due to the various factors that we're about to mention, several other shark species are more commonly displayed. These species are chosen based on factors like size, behavior, availability, and compatibility with captivity. Some examples of sharks that are typically found in aquariums are black tip reef shark, nurse shark, sandbar shark, bamboo shark, whale shark, zebra shark, and leopard shark. These shark species are able to thrive in the controlled environments that are presented to them in an aquarium. Circling back to the great white shark, let's finally get to why we don't see them more often in aquariums. Number 1. Habitat and Space Requirements In terms of space requirements, these majestic predators are finely tuned products of evolution, adapted over millions of years to thrive in the vast open ocean environments they call home. Their unique characteristics and behaviors are closely tied to the expansiveness of their natural habitat, making it extremely challenging to replicate these conditions in captivity. The migratory behavior of great white sharks is actually a critical part of their life cycle, allowing them to access various prey species and optimize their chances of reproductive success. Unlike some other sharks that can tolerate confined spaces for longer periods, great white sharks need the ability to roam freely to fulfill their natural instincts. When it comes to captivity, providing an environment that even remotely resembles the oceanic conditions these sharks are accustomed to presents significant challenges. The size of tanks required to house great white sharks would be immense, often exceeding the capacities of most aquarium facilities. Even if a sufficiently large tank were available, replicating the intricate ocean currents, temperature gradients, and vastness of the open ocean within an artificial environment is virtually impossible. Furthermore, great white sharks have evolved to thrive in specific environmental cues, such as changes in water temperatures and the availability of various prey species. 
Attempting to mimic these cues in captivity would be a monumental task, as it would involve recreating complex ecosystems and dynamic environmental conditions that are beyond the capabilities of modern aquarium technology. Number 2. Feeding Challenges The great white shark possesses unique dietary requirements that are closely linked to their role as not only the top predators in marine ecosystems, but also as a keystone species that affects each and every fish in the ocean. The intricacies of their feeding habits make it exceptionally difficult and costly to provide an appropriate diet, making the prospect of keeping them in captivity both challenging and potentially detrimental to their health. In their natural environment, great white sharks predominantly feed on a variety of marine mammals, such as seals and sea lions, as well as large fish species. Their diet is essential to their survival, providing the energy needed to sustain their immense size and maintain their predatory behaviors. Replicating this diet in captivity is fraught with complications. The sheer quantity of food required for great white sharks, which can amount to several hundred pounds per week, is staggering. Sourcing and providing this substantial amount of food can quickly become an overwhelming financial burden for any aquarium. Failure to do so could lead to malnutrition, weakened immune systems, and other health issues that can be life-threatening. Number 3. Stress and Health The stress and health implications of capturing and containing great white sharks in aquariums are actually critical factors that underscore the ethical and practical challenges of keeping these apex predators in captivity. As we mentioned before, great white sharks are accustomed to the immense freedom of the open ocean, where they can swim for miles, explore new territories, and engage in a range of behaviors essential for their survival. The sudden transition from such an environment to the confined space of an aquarium can induce immense stress. The stress response in sharks, as in many animals, triggers physiological changes that can be detrimental to their health. Elevated stress levels can lead to suppressed immune systems, making the sharks more susceptible to infections and diseases. Also, confinement in an aquarium often deprives them of the space and opportunities to engage in the behaviors that are typical for a great white shark, which can lead to frustration, anxiety, and even behavioral abnormalities. For instance, they may exhibit repetitive swimming patterns or unusual aggressive behaviors due to the stress of captivity. The intricate balance of water temperature, salinity, and chemical composition found in their natural habitats is exceedingly difficult to replicate in an artificial environment. Inadequate water quality can lead to skin irritations, respiratory problems, and other health issues. Additionally, the process of capturing and transporting great white sharks to an aquarium can be traumatic and physically damaging. These are powerful animals with unique requirements, and attempting to safely relocate them to an unfamiliar environment presents risks to both the sharks and the individuals involved in their capture. Number 4. Conservational Concerns as apex predators, these sharks occupy a crucial ecological niche within marine ecosystems, but their populations are increasingly vulnerable due to a range of threats. Attempting to showcase them in captivity presents both ethical dilemmas and potential ecological effects that could further worsen their already fragile status. One of the foremost threats facing great white sharks is actually overfishing. Historically, these sharks have been targeted for their fins, teeth, and other body parts driven by the demand in certain markets. The appeal of displaying them in aquariums might inadvertently intensify this demand, leading to escalated fishing pressures that could further endanger their populations. Furthermore, habitat degradation only increases the challenges faced by the great white shark. Coastal development, pollution, and climate change have significantly impacted their natural habitats. These sharks depend on robust ecosystems to thrive, and the diversion of attention towards capturing them for display detracts from the pressing need to address the broader habitat-related issues. Also, 
Accidental bycatch poses an additional danger. In commercial fishing operations targeting other species, great white sharks often become unintended victims. The allure of selling them to aquariums instead of releasing them, provoked by the prospect of display, could potentially increase bycatch incidents and the strain on their populations. Instead of directing resources towards the capture and maintenance of great white sharks in captivity, conservation efforts would be more effective if channeled into initiatives that safeguard their natural habitats and combat the factors contributing to their decline. Establishing marine protected areas, advocating for sustainable fishing practices, and conducting comprehensive research on their behavior and population dynamics are more pertinent priorities. The overall focus should shift toward public perception and education. Rather than displaying these apex predators, aquariums can serve as educational platforms, enlightening the public about the critical role great white sharks play in maintaining marine ecosystem balance. Such initiatives foster an understanding of the threats faced by these sharks and fire up support for complete conservation efforts. And that's our video about why you don't see the great white shark in aquariums more often. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on videos like this. See you next time.